This is unbelievable. Now we've seen the A car hasn't needed any help to get by other cars. Ricky Craven looking low. Dale Jr. moves down to block Tony Stewart. But when the A car does go around the 18, the 20 will go with the 18. Ricky Craven drops up behind the 55 car, trying to help Bobby Hamilton to the front. The white flag is up. Final lap at Talladega. Who's it going to be? Labonte, Earnhardt Jr., Stewart, or maybe somebody out of the pack? Look at this move by Jr. at the white flag. And Tony Stewart goes with Jr. He's coming with you. 20 is with you. Oh. Labonte blocks Bobby Hamilton. I cannot believe that Toyota. Oh, no. Contact. Bobby Labonte's over. It's the big wreck on the final lap. They're racing back for the win. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Tony Stewart are side by side. This is for the victory as Jeff Burton gets in the middle of it. At least 10 cars involved in the wreck on the backstretch. Burton and Stewart are side by side. That's all Earnhardt Jr. needs to see. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has won the million dollars. Here at Talladega. Corner, easier end of corner because there's a big crash on the back straightaway. The big crash happened on the final lap. Racing for the win. Bobby Labonte's car upside down. Ricky Craven just climbed from his car. Terry Labonte driving back around. Dave Burns. Alan, the 18 crew heard a radio transmission from Bobby Labonte that he was okay. We understand now he is out of his car, so they're going to pick up here. They know Bobby's okay. Yeah, we are looking at him now, Dave. He has climbed from the car. Good news. And one of those wheels are still spinning. And Ricky Craven climbed from his car and just sat down. There you see him sitting on the ground. Wow. Ricky Rudd trying to make it around to the finish line. Dale Jarrett hasn't come around. Robert Presley, Ward Burton, Buckshot Jones, Johnny Benson. <laughs> and Ricky the other Rudd cars did involved. not make it. Not going to make it. Sterling Marlin was involved. That's his car all torn up, going backwards up the pit lane. On board with Sterling. There's Robert Preston's car. Bill Elliott was involved. He's coming backwards up the pit lane. There's Dale Jarrett's car. Never made it to the checkered flag. Ward Burton. Trying to get to the checkers. And he's going to make it to the line. And he'll turn around right here. What a wild finish. Dale Earnhardt Jr. being saluted by the 160,000 here in Talladega for his victory in the EA Sports 500 presented by Dodge. Let's mention that Jeff Gordon, the championship leader, did get through the wreck. He came to the checkered flag in seventh. I'm a little surprised the teammates didn't work together there at last lap, BP. Well, let's go back and take a look at it. White flag was up. We were on the final lap of the race. You see Bobby Hamilton, the 55 car, trying to get on the outside of Bobby Labonte. Labonte comes back down the hill, and now all of a sudden, they're four wide. And Hamilton gets in the left rear of Bobby Labonte's car, and we see the car start tumbling down the backstretch. 
and there's not a whole lot you can do. When you're behind that, all you see is smoke and cars go sideways. You just try to hold the steering wheel straight and get through it somehow. Rode the roof the whole way, never flipped over. Just on the roof, and that's how it rode the whole way down the backstretch. Hard crash for Benson there. Mike Wallace. There's Rusty Wallace in the grass. Ricky Craven. Yeah. That Bobby Hamilton Jr. there in the four car. Yeah. One more shot. Once again, Hamilton drives going the outside. Bobby Lamont of the 18 goes up to, to block him. They make a little contact, but everything's okay. Then Hamilton drives to the inside, and here they're going to get four wide. There just isn't room coming off that corner for four wide. And how Jeff Gordon got through that is amazing. The car behind him, Mike Wallace crashed. They got within a half a lap of the checkered flag. Just listen to this. Sterling Marlins view. Go low, go low, go low. He actually got hit, it looks like. He was he was trying to go straight through it. And somebody got into the back of him and turned him sideways. Oh, man, that was close. That was close. Oh. Buckshot Jones. They finally come to a meeting. Johnny Benson. Oh. And all you're worried about all this time, what Johnny's worried about is somebody hitting him. Marty? Well, Bobby Hamilton literally shaking. Take us through those last few laps and how nerve-wracking all this is. Well, it was tight. Uh, Dale Jr. had a real good car, and we was able to run good together. And I got on the outside, and I couldn't get any good help behind me, but we were still pretty good out there. So uh, went in that last corner, and I had a real good run on him to go three deep. And when I did 18, went to block me, which he should, and I turned up under him, and he turned down to block me, and he didn't know why I was there, and it turned him and <laughs> scared me. I come back around, took the checker, went back over to the crash site and stopped, checked on him, made sure he was all right. It was a pretty, pretty bad crash, but hope everybody's all right in that deal, and just come down the last lap, and everybody's rooting and gouging, but real happy the guys on the square D Chevrolet. You know, we won here in the spring out of top five and had a good call. Literally shaking Bobby Hamilton finishes fifth today.